In the midst of our busy lives, in what may be an attempt to emulate Martha in Luke 10.41, it becomes seemingly more difficult to step out of the familiar and in faith enjoy God's creation. Recently, while cycling in Chattanooga, Tennessee, I spotted a lone rose basking in the sun near a park bench. Far too many times, the cares of the world and my feeble attempts to succeed have blinded my eyes and deafened my ears to the beauty of love and life. I wrestled for a few moments whether or not to stop and smell the roses. So cliché, yet so often one may overlook the simplest of saying or verse. I opted to seize the moment after negotiating with myself as to whether or not there was time. Well, I claim to have eternity after all. Not to sound presumptuous, but maybe God put this rose there for a good reason. Once more I elected to heed the still small voice and sat down a few feet away from this lovely creation. The rose is delightful and fascinating in so many respects, from its tenderness to its thorns and rough edges, to its variations in color and sizes make each unique and equally beautiful from the strong to the fragile. A few moments prior to this encounter, I begged the question, what business do I have in Chattanooga anyway? After all, I knew no one and had no plans under, other than to consider an afternoon of hiking, prayer, and meditation in the mountains while vacationing in Nashville. The answer was soon to follow as I reached out and touched this rose. Rose's hand was dirty and wrinkled from years of hard living, while on her wrist was a hospital band. Recently released from the hospital, this wheelchair-bound homeless woman impacted my life like no other. While I proceeded to hold Rose's hand and share God's love, I felt the presence of the Jesus that I had read about for so many years. Oh, how lovely is a rose. Only the blessed are sure to know. I thank God for the pleasure and I pity those who know her never.